Section. Introduction. We're going to talk about a new tool we've developed for artists who use text to image diffusion models. These artists often struggle to fine tune the visual attributes and concepts in their generated images. For example, it's hard to adjust subtle features like a person's age or the weather conditions using just text prompts. This can be frustrating for creators who want their images to match their vision perfectly. To solve this problem, we've created something called concept sliders. These sliders allow artists to make nuanced edits to concepts within diffusion models. This gives creators a high level of control over the image generation process and image editing. We're planning to make our code and train sliders available to everyone. Concept sliders address several issues that previous methods couldn't handle well. For instance, while you can control many image attributes by modifying the prompt, this often drastically changes the overall image structure. This is because the output is very sensitive to the combination of the prompt and seed. There are techniques like prompt to prompt and pix2 video that allow you to edit visual concepts in an image by reversing the diffusion process and modifying cross attentions. However, these methods have their own limitations. They require separate inference passes for each new concept and can only support a limited number of simultaneous edits. They also require engineering a prompt suitable for an individual image rather than learning a simple generalizable control. If not carefully prompted, they can introduce entanglement between concepts, such as altering race when modifying age. In contrast, concept sliders are lightweight plug-and-play adapters applied to pre-trained models. They enable precise, continuous control over desired concepts in a single inference pass, with efficient composition and minimal entanglement. Each concept slider is a low-rank modification of the diffusion model. We found that this low-rank constraint is crucial for precision control over concepts. While fine-tuning without low-rank regularization reduces precision and generative image quality, low-rank training identifies the minimal concept subspace and results in controlled, high-quality, disentangled editing. Concept sliders also allow editing of visual concepts that can't be captured by textual descriptions. This sets it apart from previous concept editing methods that rely on text. While image-based model customization methods can add new tokens for new image-based concepts, these are difficult to use for image editing. In contrast, concept sliders allow an artist to provide a few paired images to define a desired concept. The concept slider then generalizes the visual concept and applies it to other images, even in cases where it would be hard to describe the transformation in words. Other generative image models, like GANs, have previously shown latent spaces that provide highly disentangled control over generated outputs. In particular, it's been observed that style GAN style space neurons offer detailed control over many meaningful aspects of images that would be hard to describe in words. To further demonstrate the capabilities of our approach, we show that it's possible to create concept sliders that transfer latent directions from style GAN style space trained on FFHQ face images into diffusion models. Despite originating from a face dataset, our method successfully adapts these latents to enable nuanced style control over diverse image generation. This showcases how diffusion models can capture the complex visual concepts represented in GAN latents, even those that may not correspond to any textual description. We demonstrate that the expressiveness of concept sliders is powerful enough to address two particularly practical applications, enhancing realism and fixing hand distortions. While generative models have made significant progress in realistic image synthesis, the latest generation of diffusion models such as Stable Diffusion XL are still prone to synthesizing distorted hands with anatomically implausible extra or missing fingers, as well as warped faces, floating objects, and distorted perspectives. Through a perceptual user study, we validate that a concept slider for realistic image, as well as another for fixed hands, both create a statistically significant improvement in perceived realism without altering image content. Concept sliders are modular and composable. We find that over 50 unique sliders can be composed without degrading output quality. This versatility gives artists a new universe of nuanced image control that allows them to blend countless textual, visual, and GAN-defined concept sliders. Because our method bypasses standard prompt token limits, it empowers more complex editing than achievable through text alone. In generative adversarial networks, GANs, manipulation of semantic attributes has been widely studied. Latent space trajectories have been found in a self-supervised manner. PCA has been used to identify semantic directions in the latent or feature spaces. Latent subspaces corresponding to detailed face attributes have been analyzed. 
For diffusion models, semantic latent spaces have been suggested to exist in the middle layers of the UNet architecture. It has been shown that principal directions in diffusion model latent spaces capture global semantics. Our method directly trains low-rank subspaces corresponding to semantic attributes. By optimizing for specific global directions using text or image pairs as supervision, we obtain precise and localized editing directions. Section Summary In this paper, we introduce concept sliders, which provide artistic users of text to image diffusion models with finer control over the visual attributes and concepts expressed in generated images. Unlike previous methods, concept sliders allow for precise and continuous control over desired concepts in a single inference pass, with efficient composition and minimal entanglement. They also enable editing of visual concepts that cannot be captured by textual descriptions, making them a powerful tool for image editing and customization. Section. Background. Let's delve into the background of diffusion models, their training process, and low-rank adapters. Diffusion models are a type of generative models that use the idea of reversing a diffusion process to create data. Initially, the forward diffusion process slowly adds noise to the data, changing it from an organized state, which we'll call X underscore zero, to complete Gaussian noise, which we'll call X underscore T. At any given time, the noised image is modeled using a randomly sampled Gaussian noise with zero mean and unit variance. The goal of diffusion models is to reverse this process by sampling a random Gaussian noise, X underscore T, and gradually removing the noise to generate an image, X underscore zero. In practice, the aim of a diffusion model is simplified to predicting the true noise from the equation when X underscore T is used as input with additional inputs like the time and conditioning. In this study, we use Stable Diffusion and Stable Diffusion XL, which are latent diffusion models that enhance efficiency by working in a lower dimensional latent space of a pre-trained variational autoencoder. They convert the images to a latent space and run the diffusion training as discussed above. Now, let's talk about low-rank adapters. The low-rank adaptation, LoRa, method allows for efficient adaptation of large pre-trained language models to downstream tasks by breaking down the weight update during fine-tuning. Given a pre-trained model layer with weights, where the input dimension is D, and the output dimension is K, LoRa breaks down the weight update into smaller matrices. By freezing the original weights and only optimizing the smaller matrices, LoRa achieves significant reductions in trainable parameters. Concept sliders are a method for fine-tuning LoRa adapters on a diffusion model to enable concept-targeted image control. Our method learns low-rank parameter directions that increase or decrease the expression of specific attributes when conditioned on a target concept. Given a target concept and model, our goal is to obtain a model that modifies the likelihood of attributes in an image when conditioned on the target concept, increase likelihood of one attribute and decrease likelihood of another. Based on Tweedy's formula and the reparameterization trick, we can introduce a time-varying noising process and express each score as a denoising prediction. The proposed score function shifts the distribution of the target concept to exhibit more attributes of one and fewer attributes of another. In practice, we notice that a single prompt pair can sometimes identify a direction that is entangled with other undesired attributes. We therefore incorporate a set of preservation concepts to constrain the optimization. This leads to the disentanglement objective. The disentanglement objective fine tunes the concept slider modules while keeping pre-trained weights fixed. Importantly, the LoRa formulation introduces a scaling factor that can be modified at inference time. This scaling parameter allows adjusting the strength of the edit. Increasing this parameter makes the edit stronger without retraining the model. We propose sliders to control nuanced visual concepts that are harder to specify using text prompts. We use small paired before, after image datasets to train sliders for these concepts. The sliders learn to capture the visual concept through the contrast between image pairs. Our training process optimizes the LoRa applied in both the negative and positive directions. This has the effect of causing the LoRa to align to a direction that causes the visual effect of A in the negative direction and B in the positive direction. Defining directions visually in this way not only allows an artist to define a concept slider through custom artwork, it is also the same method we use to transfer latents from other generative models such as Style Gone. Section Summary. Diffusion models are generative models that reverse a diffusion process to synthesize data by gradually denoising a noisy image. Low-rank adapters, LoRa, 
enable efficient adaptation of pre-trained language models by decomposing weight updates. The proposed method, concept sliders, fine-tunes LoRa adapters on a diffusion model to control specific attributes in images, achieving disentanglement and allowing for adjustments in the strength of edits without retraining. The sliders are trained using small paired image datasets to capture visual concepts through the contrast between image pairs. Section. Experiments. We've tested our method primarily on a high-resolution model called Stable Diffusion XL, and also on another model called SD version 1.4. We trained all models for 500 rounds, or epics. To show that our method can be applied to a variety of situations, we tested it on different prompts. For instance, we used our person slider on prompts like doctor, man, woman, and barista. To keep the structure and meaning of the original model, we used it for the first few steps, with the LoRa adapter multipliers set to zero. After that, we switched on the LoRa adapter for the remaining steps. We tested our slider method on 30 different text-based concepts and compared it to two other methods. One of these methods was inspired by SD Edit and Lou et al and uses a pre-trained model with a standard prompt for a few steps, then starts adding prompts to guide the image. The other method, called prompt to prompt uses cross-attention for image editing after generating reference images. Our method directly generates 2,500 edited images per concept, like, image of a person, by adjusting the scale parameter. In contrast, the other methods require additional steps for each new concept, which adds computational overhead. Our method consistently achieves higher clip scores and lower LPIPS versus the original, indicating greater coherence while enabling precise control. We also tested our method on visual concepts like eyebrow shapes or eye sizes, which are difficult to control with text prompts alone. To do this, we used paired image datasets combined with optional text guidance. For example, we created sliders for eyebrow shape and eye size using image pairs that captured the desired transformations. We also transferred sliders from the style GON V3 style space, which is trained on the FFHQ dataset. This allowed us to control nuanced concepts that are difficult to describe with words. One of the key advantages of our method is that it allows users to combine multiple sliders for nuanced control. For example, we combined cooked and fine dining food sliders to traverse this 2D concept space. Finally, we found that our concept sliders can improve the quality of images generated by large-scale models like Stable Diffusion XL. Although these models can sometimes produce distorted or blurry images, concept sliders can identify low-rank parameter directions that repair common distortions. Section Summary The authors evaluate their approach on Stable Diffusion XL and SD version 1.4 models, conducting experiments with diverse prompts to demonstrate generalization. They validate the efficacy of their slider method on 30 text-based concepts, achieving higher clip scores and lower LPIPS compared to baselines. The authors also leverage paired image datasets to create sliders for granular attributes and demonstrate the composability of their low-rank slider directions, allowing users to combine multiple sliders for nuanced control. Additionally, concept sliders can improve image quality by identifying low-rank parameter directions that repair common distortions. Section. Main. We've developed a tool called the Repair Slider that can enhance the realism of generated images. This tool identifies and corrects common image quality issues such as distorted subjects, unnatural object placement, and inconsistent shapes. When we tested this tool, we found that it significantly improved the quality of the images, making them appear more realistic. We conducted a study where we asked participants to compare their original images with the ones adjusted by the Repair Slider. The results were quite promising, with 80.39% of the participants finding the adjusted images more realistic. However, the Frechette Inception Distance FID, scores, a common metric for assessing image quality, did not align with this human assessment. This discrepancy echoes previous research that has found gaps in perceptual judgment. Interestingly, when we distorted the images in the opposite direction of the slider, the FID scores improved but the participants still preferred the images adjusted in the realism-enhancing direction. We've included more details about this study in the appendix of our paper. We also conducted an analysis to verify the effectiveness of two key components of our method, the disentanglement formulation and low-rank adaptation. 
The disentanglement formulation helps to isolate the desired changes from unwanted attributes. For instance, without this formulation, we noticed undesired changes in gender when we tried to adjust the age of the subjects in the images. The low-rank adaptation, on the other hand, helps to capture the desired changes more precisely and with better generalization. For example, it helps to better preserve the background and clothing of the subjects in the images. Despite these promising results, our method does have some limitations. While the disentanglement formulation helps to reduce unwanted interference between edits, we still observe some residual effects. This suggests that we need to be more careful in selecting the latent directions to preserve, and preferably develop an automated method to further reduce edit interference. We also found that while the inference technique we used helps to preserve the structure of the image, it can reduce the intensity of the edits. This seems to suggest a trade-off between edit strength and structural coherence. Further research is needed to determine if we can improve the strength of the edits while maintaining high fidelity to the original image.